Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. Again, for those of you who are just now tuning in for the first time, this is the Codeless Application Development Series, where I am reviewing multiple Codeless Application Development platforms to see what may be the best for you for pricing. I'm also signing up for trial accounts just to show you what the interface looks like, so you don't have to go through all of that, and you can just kind of skip through the video to see what parts look the best for you. So today we're going to be looking into Andromo, which is one that's been pretty popular on the market recently. So I have a trial account set up in the next window here, but I want to go over pricing and features first. So when we're looking through, you're going to see they have a pretty nice website overall. I would definitely rank this as one of the better websites out there for Codeless app platforms. This does advertise heavily that you're using uh, Flutter, so it's backed by Google Flutter, so they're progressive technology. And you'll see as we're kind of scrolling through, they have monetization schemes, so those of you that may be looking to make a little bit of money, and then Google Play Bundle support. They have a couple videos, and then they have a little slider with te different templates that you can basically start with. So we will go ahead and look at the pricing page first. And as with most app builders, the pricing page typically shows a lot of the features as well. So you'll see you subscribe, you have a couple of different options. As always, it's usually the annual option is selected first. So let's click on monthly. So you'll see 10, 28 and $48. If you switch to annual, you'll see the new pricing here. So we will just scroll down. So essentially when you look, you see you have your hobbyist, then you have your smart choice and then your ultra. And then we can scroll down, you'll see a couple of different things, but the main thing I wanna cover is features. So for hobbyists, you have 30 projects, 300 with Pro and Unlimited with Ultra. Storage, one of the things that's great is this website actually shows you what you get up front. So storage is pretty impressive. So two gigs, 10 gigs, and 100 gigs for the Ultra. And then you can see your builds per month, which basically means as you're making changes that require you to rebuild the application, there's a certain number of builds, but the number's actually pretty high. I mean, I doubt that many people plan to be building more than a couple times a day. Uh, you'll see you have the advanced monetization option with the top tier, the support only with the top tier, impression commission, uh, custom package name, monetization trial, um, all these different monetization features, action buttons, etc. So these are things that are kind of specific to the platform. So some of these things you're going to actually have to start using the platform just to see what's included. But it is kind of cool to see at the bottom you have a WordPress blog version 3. So you'll have your different questions down here if you're interested in looking into it further. But uh, you see here that you have build apps for Android and iOS beta. So I don't know what the beta looks like right now, but one build per day after full release. Um, so you'll see the details right here. So unlimited builds in beta and one build per day after full release. And you'll still get the ability to publish on Google and Amazon. And then iOS again being in beta, but having the ability to do that for $36 a month is incredible uh, just because that's probably one of the lowest tiers uh, as far as pricing is concerned to be able to build for iOS and Android and Amazon on top of that. So let's go ahead and we'll look in the actual app builder itself. So when you create your account for the first time just by clicking sign up or sign in, this is the dashboard you will land in. So you'll see you have this Easy Start 2.0, or I think it's V2, sorry. And you'll see you have a couple of options here. Uh, so you can scroll through, you can give your app a name, choose different types of themes, or I guess you would technically say that's like a, a template that you're going to start from. And you'll see your projects down below. And you do have this other easy start, so version 3. So when you click on this pretty cool little um, theme right here, so you have this option to choose a template, and then you can build this app. So we'll scroll through for a couple just to kind of show you what's available. And what we will do is we're actually going to just click on a couple of these up here. So you'll see you have different templates you can scroll through. So what we're going to do is we are just going to go back to Andromo. And then from here, we're going to click on Easy Start V2. And let's just click on Spiritual here, and we'll type in the name for the app. So we'll put Test, and we'll click Build This App. You'll see on average it'll be ready for distribution within 15 minutes. 
So we're now in the Andromo app maker. So you'll see you have a couple of different steps here. We're gonna skip this just to give you an idea of what the interface looks like. So you'll see over here, we have the test application, just basically with all the stock components. You'll have your components here. So it's not a drag and drop where you're actually gonna drop things into the application over here. So these are the available activities. And these are what's currently in the application. So if you want to add something, you can click on the plus button and you'll see your settings here. So it's for a custom page. So a couple things we're going to do just to show you how everything looks here. So we're just going to scroll through. So you'll see you have social podcasts. You'll have the engagement pages, contact, recommended. So let's try throwing in a website real quick. So you could put subtitle put test website and description we'll just put this is it and then you could say build this activity and you can double check make sure everything looks good to go and then we're going to make sure content is selected so we'll just put www.google.com Looks like you need to include the HTTP semicolon slash slash. So it looks like everything is set up there. So we will save changes and we will go back. And then let's see what else we have. So we have all of the things up here. So we have spiritual text, gallery, audio prayers, about, custom page. So you can click on something that's up here. You can also rearrange as you see fit. So we could put the website first since this was actually just added. And we know that what this actually looks like. And then if you wanted to, we could edit the custom page. And basically, this is how the, the editor is set up. So if the activity can be previewed, it'll be over here. And you're basically going to change the settings here. Now, the settings are going to be different based on what activities you select. For example, a browser is going to be different than this page here, which may be different than the About Us page. You have the ability to adjust the content, the style. You can update and add any images and then the toolbar right here. So that again is just for the basic custom page. You can go over here to theme. And again, just as a kind of like a general summary, the way this works is you have your activities here. So you'll see the activities that you have selected for your application here. And then ideally your test application would be set up over here. You have other activities that you can choose here. And then you can go and edit your theme. So you have the ability to edit startup navigation so I'll let you see what this looks like here so you have a navigation drawer which you can enable or disable and then you have start with app drawer open you have your title subtitle header image you have all of your setting options here so banner ads and social sharing button you have your style colors that you can adjust your settings images and then lastly your toolbar then you have the ability to check your global style. So you have your colors, image settings, and toolbar settings here, your general settings over here. So you can update your app icon, for example, license agreement, launch notice, pro features. Um, so you see that you're gonna have to upgrade to a paid subscription to unlock these features, and then rate us options, which also need the pro or paid subscription monetization which is big for a lot of people so you see you have ad mob facebook audience network amazon mobile ads app brain app lovin and start app so this has more monetization options than i've seen from most other app builders which is really good to see so for the price if you're wanting to get a relatively basic to advanced application out there you can subscribe to a ton of these different options, but it's not recommended to blow people up with ads, as I'm sure you're all aware if you download a free application, the last thing you wanna see is an ad every five seconds. You'll see you have your services here, so you can go to OneSignal and Intercom. So this is a paid subscription option. And then you have Build. So if you're ready to build and run your app, you can build an unlimited app, 
and you'll see this build option is unavailable and then it'll tell you how many builds you have left and basically you'll receive an email with a link and further instructions on how to upload it to Google Market once the build is done. So um, I know that there weren't a ton of options to go through. For example, if you watched my Happy Pie walkthrough, I go through a lot more of the customization options. I'll be honest, for the price, I think that this is a really, really solid builder overall. But I do think compared to some of the pricier options on the market like Appy Pie, I don't think you're getting as many customization options. It's basically giving you this, for example, if we wanted to upload or add this photo gallery. When you're looking at this activity, you have your settings and then you have your content, but it looks like you're really going to be essentially sticking with what this application has as far as the functionality. There's not much ability to actually edit the functionality and make it the way that you want it to be. Not like there's a problem with that, but if you're wanting a lot of customization, this may not be the best platform for you. But again, for the price and the features that are included, it's a pretty solid and competitive option, at least to test something out while you're trying to figure out what all functionality you need. So again, you'll see that test application over here. It does not appear as if this, um, so when I click on discover, uh, it doesn't let me scroll by touch. So it's, you can click on the navigation and we'll click on one of these. It doesn't look like it's letting us actually load any of these options. Unfortunately, I know the website was the one that we added, um, so I don't think I can actually click. You can click on the menu, but you can't click on the actual options. Um, so let's try just to see if this helps. We'll try to save changes, and we will save nevertheless. And now let's try to scroll back down and see if we can. I don't know if it's going to update this builder here, but. I'm trying to click on this website and it doesn't look like any of these are actually clickable at this point and it could be because we haven't updated too much here but um, again it'd be nice to at least see a page change and it doesn't look like this is scrolling to allow me to see the option down here not really a deal breaker but I'm one of those people I like to see my changes updating in real time but that is just an option and again you can click on projects now you'll see you have this test project here and you can create multiple projects again based on the different plans that you have. So for the price, the ability to basically create tons of different projects and work in Android, iOS and Amazon all for a pretty low price. I think this is an option that's very, very competitive, just doesn't have the most functionality. So if you don't need total control over everything in your application, I would recommend giving Andromo a look just to kind of play around with it. And I love the fact that they actually give you a trial to mess around with to test out the features. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I will see you all in the next video.